the bribery allegation. Congresswoman Nancy May says there's damning evidence in the FBI file that you sold out the country. Do you have a response to the congressional Republicans? Where's the money? I'm joking. Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, a bunch of malarkey. This summer, Joe Biden said, where's the money? Well, we found some. We're still digging into the evidence subpoenaed from bank accounts belonging to Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden, and James and Sarah Biden, the brother and sister-in-law of the president. A document that we're releasing today raises new questions about how President Biden personally benefited from his family's shady influence peddling of his last name and their access to him. Bank records obtained by the House Committee on Oversight have revealed a $200,000 direct payment from James and Sarah Biden to Joe Biden in the form of a personal check. Here's some important context about this check we've obtained in our investigation. In 2018, James Biden received $600,000 in loans from AmeriCorps, a financially distressed and failing rural hospital operator. According to bankruptcy court documents, James Biden received these loans, quote, based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East based on his political connections, end quote. On March 1, 2018, AmeriCorps wired a $200,000 loan into James and Sarah Biden's personal bank account, not their business bank account. And then on the very same day, James Biden wrote a $200,000 check from this same personal bank account to Joe Biden. James Biden wrote this check to Joe Biden as a, quote, loan repayment. AmeriCorps, a distressed company, loaned money to James Biden, who then sent it to Joe Biden. Where's the money, you say, Joe? The House Oversight Committee found it. A big, 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 big clue. Look at this, a $200,000 check written by Joe's brother to Joseph R. Biden Jr. on March 1st of 2018. Uh, there's the money. Look, <laughs> once my brother gave me $50, I still haven't paid him back, and he still remembers it. $200,000? What's going on here? <laughs> Joe Biden and James Biden. Now, James is Joe's little brother. And investigators and basically anybody in Delaware has known for a long, long time that Hunter and Jim worked together. The family business, you know, the Biden family name. These guys are out there selling it, selling access to Joe Biden, getting things done because they are Bidens. And 10% for the big guy? Let's take a look at that check. House Oversight Committee actually released this publicly today. It is, well, let's go through it. Number one. This is from Sarah and James Biden. James Biden is the brother of Joe, all right? And Sarah is Joe's sister-in-law. Next, please. This check is, just so we all understand, written to, yes, paid to the order of Joseph R. Biden Jr. R stands for Robinette, by the way. How much? How much? $200,000 and no cents. Just so there's no ambiguity here, let's take a look at when you have to write out, write out that number, $200,000 and zero cents. The little brother to the big brother. Um, and the date, March 1st, 2018. We'll come back to that in a bit. He's an ex-vice president at this point, and he's not yet running for president. Uh, why was this check written officially? You know that little memo thing you can write something on? Loan repayment. Loan repayment. Uh, Joe was loaning money to his brother. I've heard a million times how Joe was the poorest man in the Senate, right? How did he get this kind of money? House Republicans have just revealed testimony from two IRS officials who claim there was sweeping misconduct in the Biden investigation. Shapley also alleged there was a recovered 2017 WhatsApp message from Hunter Biden to a Chinese businessman over an outstanding payment stating, quote, I am sitting here with my father. We would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Hunter Biden allegedly texted, according to the transcript, I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand. And now means tonight. I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else 
anything having to do with their businesses, period. Do you stand by your statement that you did not discuss any of your son's overseas business Yes, I stand him? by that statement. I thought the article released the thing on online. It's going to be printed tomorrow in time. It's good. I think it's clear. And uh, anyway, um, if you get a chance, give me a call. I love you. At the Beverly Hilton where he's staying. Okay, 10 tonight. We'll see you at the Beverly Hilton. Let me know if anything changes. Then later that night, I let him know I'm on my way. I'm here. Are you guys in the bar? The meeting lasted 45 minutes. So I literally haven't been back here uh, since I actually met with uh, the Bidens and Joe walked across through the lobby with this security detail. Hunter, Jim, and I were already sitting here sort of positioned behind this column. They've redone some of the bar. After the meeting at the Hilton, Bob Alinsky and Jim Biden crossed the street to meet at the Peninsula Hotel. I basically spent two hours with Jim and I was very concerned about how they were doing this. And after I walked through my concerns, I just distinctly remember you know, Jim looking at me and getting a smirk on his face and, uh, you know, like a slight chuckle and just saying, you know, plausible deniability. Those two words clearly define how the uh, Bidens operate, uh, how they do business. A few weeks later, on May 13th, 2017, Gillier sent an email explaining each partner's share of the new company. Quote, the equity will be distributed as follows. 20 for H, meaning Hunter, 20 for RW, meaning Rob Walker, 20 for JG, meaning James Gillier, 20 for TB, Bob Alinsky, 10 for JB, Jim Biden, and 10 held by H for the big guy. Who could the big guy be? If it isn't Joe Biden, I would love to debate that with anybody. Another email sent the same day was called Expectations. In it, Gillier laid out salaries for all the partners. Hunter and Bob Alinsky were both set to make 850000 Three days later, an infuriated Hunter wrote this, I will need a hell of a lot more than eight fifty per year on a month basis, and this is my own personal problem, but I'll make it yours also, I'm sure. Ha. Bob Alinsky responded, H, we have to pay a team of people who'll be working 100 hours a week. To which Hunter responded, Tony, they are both coming to be my partner, to be partners with the Bidens. He has implied that the number one has made that clear and available to him. According to Bob Alinsky, number one is a clear reference to Chinese President Xi Jinping. When I saw Adam Schiff go on record talking about Russian disinformation after this email had been posted online by the New York Post, and remember that email was to me from James Gillier, right? It wasn't, you know, I wasn't blind carbon or CC'd on that. It was to me stating that I was going to be the CEO of this enterprise. Um, I had, uh, I was at the end of my rope. And so I called Rob Walker and I told him that if that statement isn't retracted by Adam, or, uh, Congressman Schiff by midnight on Sunday, that I was going on record and I was disclosing all the facts to the American government, to the American citizen and the world. If he doesn't come out on record, I am uh, providing the facts. Tony, you're just going to just you. bury all of us, man. Here is a text message you received from Hunter Biden to you. Hey, Tony, I have an idea. In light of the fact that we are in an impasse of sorts and both James's lawyers and my chairman gave an emphatic no, I think we should all meet in Romania on Tuesday next week. And so you're hearing reporters say that chairman was, in fact, the Chinese government. Here you have Rob Walker responding to you. Clearly, there's some confusion over this. And he's saying, and I'm going to put this on the screen now. When he said, when Hunter Biden said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. Correct. There's two chairmen in the story. There's Chairman Yi, who is the chairman of CFC. Yes. In that text from Hunter Biden, he was not talk talking about the chairman of CFC. And what Hunter's referencing there is he spoke with his father, and his father is giving an emphatic no to the ask that I had, which was putting proper governance in place around Oneida Holdings. So Joe Biden is vetoing your plan for putting stricter governance in the company. I mean, and, and it's, it's right here in the emails. Yeah, yeah, Tucker, I want to be very careful in front of the American people. That is not me writing that. That is not me claiming that. That is Hunter Biden writing on his own phone, typing in that I spoke with my chairman, referencing his father. 
if the world thinks that that my chairman is not his father, then Hunter Biden would come forward and go on record and state to the world. But you my... have the Biden family representatives, Rob Walker, saying right here, May 19th, no. When he said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. Exactly. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period.